Welcome to the second week of CC401, or Introduction to Social Science Research Methods. Uh, this week we begin with the real substance of our course and a brief overview of what social science research methods are all about. One of my favorite sociologists is Norbert Elias, who uses the metaphor of two brothers at sea to describe the nature of the relationship between social science inquiry and our feelings of involvement or detachment, objectivity, and partiality. Elias claims that as human beings we are always involved in our situation and therefore we can only speak of being relatively detached and relatively involved. His metaphor, the two brothers, uh, addresses two brothers at sea whose ship is sinking. One brother notes quickly that cone-shaped objects are sinking less rapidly than plank-shaped objects, and therefore he grabs on to a cone-shaped object. Both brothers are highly involved in their situation. One brother, however, is able to step back, remaining involved in the situation, but nonetheless retaining some core of objectivity that allows him to assess the nature of the situation and address it with more appropriate action. This diagram perhaps describes the movement of thinking as individuals progress through an undergraduate or baccalaureate program. Typically individuals begin with the idea that knowledge is absolute and that it can be appropriated only by personal beliefs as a contrast. Through the educational process individuals come to learn that individuals actually have very different interpretations of exactly the same situation based on a wide variety of circumstances, a wide variety of factors. Thus, role taking and interpretation supersedes this idea of absolute knowledge, the recognition of a wide variety of personal beliefs and opinions out there. Just with further intellectual and cognitive and social science methodological development results or leads to individuals understanding that knowledge is contextual and subjective, that individuals in different contexts with different personalities form very different opinions and actually evaluate the evidence differently than other individuals. At the next level, individuals learn to evaluate the evidence as it stands, the kind of evidence or different types of evidence, as well as the opinions of reputable others. What we hope happens is at the end of the baccalaureate degree, the end of the process of the baccalaureate degree, individuals come to understand that knowledge is highly relative, always subject to change, that knowledge is contingent, it's a process, it's based on reasonable inquiry, procedures and steps that are followed by others, it accumulates on the one hand and at the same time it shifts constantly as the world around us changes and as we appropriate new kinds of evidence or new kinds of information. 
perhaps a goal or a key goal of introduction to research methods is for students to get a sense of this process and to move from wherever they are on this pyramid to a new level of understanding in the direction of learning some or a wide variety of methods, tools, skills that allow them to evaluate, interpret, assess, analyze a wide variety of empirical information using replicable, valid, reliable procedures. It's my hope that this course will achieve some of those objectives starting with this week.